It's certainly, and it, it's the ancestors too. I think everybody's at work to, I think we've all come to do what work we know deeply we have been called to do. And I just, on my very best days, stay out of the way and show up. And that's it. I was seven. Well, younger than that, before I was even born, they, the elders that helped raise me really knew the destiny and the calling that each of us would have. And they predicted my life's work when I was seven and told me that I would go to the far edges of the earth to keep the voices of the ancestors alive. So I've known for a very long time. Uh, yeah. The most important message is that it will take all of us, all of us to show up and to live our greatest lives in order to call the world into balance, that we need everyone. We can't do it, just some of us alone. It will take all of us to wake up. We've been in a stupor that, and we've been on an unsustainable trajectory. We have been moving down a path that was never ever meant to be sustainable. It's impossible. We're finally seeing the results of that. So it's important, any message would be, for us to really wake up and to awaken what's dormant within us, to rise to the occasion, to be willing to live into our greatness, and all join in a collective effort to bring the world back into balance. Well, you know, there are these navigators in Micronesia called Palu, they're navigator priests. And when they are out at sea in the most violent storms, they lash themselves to their canoes. They loosen the lashing so that their vessels will survive. And then they lash themselves to the canoe to ride out the storm. I think the metaphor and analogy is so appropriate for these times because we are living in turbulent times. But it is also an opportunity for us to live into our greatness, for us not to cower in fear and dread, but to stand up and say, this will be our defining moment. Together we will be strong and courageous because we must be. The world doesn't need for us to be plain small right now. It really needs us to be big and powerful. And we have it in us. And I think as we begin to see people acting in that way, we feel more courageous to do the same. So we are being called to live into our greatness, not for ourselves, but so that we can inspire in one another that greatness and that potential that's already within them. That's essential. Someone asked me, what I felt my life's work was. I believe that on my best days, I'm a servant bearing witness to the world. And one of the definitions for servant is professed lover. And there, fortunately, are hundreds of thousands of servants in the world right now doing extraordinary work. I believe in them. And I believe that the more of us that rise to do this work will encourage others to do the same. I believe in humanity. I really do. I have great hope for us. <laughs>